Hey guys, this is Falcom, and in today's video we're going to be having a look at my Airsoft Claymore setup. I've been working on the setup for quite some time, so let's take it over to the bench and have a closer look at this thing. This is the Claymore in question. It is a generic Chinese water bead Claymore that I paid about 30 quid for, and it's had a few modifications done to it that some of them are a necessity for Airsoft, some of them I just wanted to do because why not. So let's have a closer look at it. The first modification is a piece of string to keep a hold of the safety pin, that way you can pull out the safety pin and you don't have to worry about losing it on the field, that way it's much quicker to deploy. The real major modification here is all of the electronics inside have been removed, so you can plug an external detonator in and trigger it externally, I think this looks a lot more realistic and I think it looks a lot cooler, and it also gives you more flexibility with how you can trigger this device. On the inside we have some foam sabos as I call them, these help retain the BBs and keep them on the centre of the diaphragm so that way they don't fall to the bottom of the claymore when it is detonated. And on top of that we also have a limit switch here, this disconnects the claymore from the external detonating mechanism once the lid has flung open, that way if there's a constant voltage being applied you won't damage the motor or the claymore because the motor will be stalled. Now this is the MFED, the multifunction electronic detonator. Now this currently has three different triggers, you have a remote Remote command detonation, you have a breakaway trip wire, and you also have a dead man switch. Once set up correctly and the dead man switch depressed, releasing it will detonate the device plugged in at the other end. Ow. And this switch can also act as a pressure release device, so you can put a briefcase, a laptop, or any sort of item of interest on the airsoft field on top of it, and as long as it's heavy enough, it will hold this down, and then once it's released, it will detonate the device. And also the weight of the device is enough to trigger it on its own, so therefore if someone was to knock this over it would trigger it, which is a sort of crude anti-handling device. Next trigger method, which is what I primarily designed this unit for, is a breakaway tripwire. Rather than using the tripwire hook on the top of the claymore, which could get broken or pulled off by someone running for the tripwire, this will simply break away from the device and detonate the claymore, as you can see by this LED. This LED is implemented into the wire so you can see if the system is triggered or not before you plug it into the claymore. The last trigger option you have is a wireless command detonation. This will override all of the other triggers. This allows you to set up some booby traps or ambushes where you can detonate the device to begin an ambush. So that's it for this video, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, a thumbs up would be greatly appreciated. And if you want to know when we've got more content out like this, then please do not hesitate to subscribe. Just remember to click on the bell icon. And do keep an eye on the channel because my local airsoft site has reopened. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll be getting some gameplay soon. And as always guys, play fair, play safe. Take care.